Bye from Cancer. Okay, so this is going to be a message for you from Spirit. Okay, using postcards from Spirit. Whispers of Healing. And the Osho Zen Tarot. Okay, let's get into it here, Cancer. Cancer, please share and like and subscribe to these videos because... There are plenty more people who need these messages from Spirit, okay? And we want to get these messages out to help as many piece of people as possible. And we can do that together. Okay, so, Cancer, let's have a look-see. What? Oh, almost jumped out. I don't know if you saw that or not, but <laughs> it changed his mind. That was not the message for you. Okay, message for Cancer, please, Spirit. What would you like to say to Cancer? One card for Cancer, please. Cancer. There it is. There it is, Cancer. Okay. Dearest you, are you taking yourself and your problems too seriously? Maybe fear of the future is weighing on you. We would like you to take a little break from all things that from, oh, sorry, we would like you to take a little break from all that and start having fun. When you stop fixating on what has been making you heavy hearted, we get a chance to move some magic in your direction. We just need you to let go a little. Spirit needs some room and gets very inspired by your laughter when you have fun. When was the last time you got really loose, silly and goofy? Maybe you need to go dancing or watch some very funny comedy to make you laugh or call the one friend you know will remind you how ridiculous and delightfully giddy you can be. <laughs> you will return refreshed and renewed and ready to once again see the world as less daunting, and you will be ready to receive in perfect timing the bounty that Spirit has for you. Don't you just love how much we care about you? Oh, that is so cool, Cancer. I love that. Okay, so let's get into it here and see what else we have. Okay, tell me more about this message. For cancer, please. Tell me more about this message. Whoops, the daisies. I dropped those. They didn't jump out. I dropped them. Okay. I just love how they sign off these, these postcards. It's great. Okay, so give me some cards for cancer, please. And these whispers of healing are brand new. I had a look through them last night, a quick look, and um, the illustrations are beautiful. So let's see what is going on here, Cancer. There we go. Okay. Guardian. Hmm. Interesting. Guardian. I feel like, and so there's a journey that you're on, um, and there's, there's this guidance. It's like you are here on the ship, right? And it could be that you're not quite sure which direction it's going to take you in. Um, you've done everything you can to decorate the ship, um, and but the direction is not clear. Okay, and I, I, I actually feel like you don't need to worry about the direction. Maybe this, for some of you, is what is quite daunting for you. Okay, it's like, it, so it really is about trusting in what spirit has in store for you. Okay, um, because that is, I have a feeling this is what they are referring to is, um, you know, that you'll be ready to receive this as what you know they've got to give okay because we've got we are the world here this is popped up so um this is everything absolutely everything <laughs> like this is beyond what you could ever imagine realistically 
okay and um I think I think you know when you're not sure of you know it's sort of like you could be doing something to say like for example you could be saving for a house right and but you don't quite know where you're going to live um you know where it's going to end up being but that's already in store for you but you're saving 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 or it could be that you're um doing some sort of study or you're um, preparing yourself for a relationship you don't know who it's going to be with you know with the study you don't know where you're going to end up working or what you you know where you're going to end up with it so it, it doesn't matter because it's already written in the stars so to speak okay um, and along this journey there's you know with there's um, you know, there's ups and downs there, right? And so sometimes it's going to feel like, oh my gosh, I can't even do this. Why am I even trying? Um, but there'll be other times where it's like, yes, this is great. Like, let's go. I'm so enthusiastic and I can't wait to get to the finish line, you know? Um, so I think it's really holding on to that inspiration when you're on those downturns, okay? Um and sort of in that storm, because, you know, as you travel along on a ship, um, you know, the, sometimes the seas are rough and the, the journey is stormy, um, but know that you're still being guided, okay? And it may be very easy to kind of go, oh, well, maybe I'll just give up because it's a little bit rough. Don't, don't, because this is this is your calling, okay? Um, and sharing. Yeah, see, this is what you are actually aiming towards here, okay? Um, this is, you know, you sharing your gifts with the world, you sharing you with the world. This here is a guiding light. You've lit up the ship to guide others, okay? You have your guide there with you, but you, have, you are guidance for others. You are a guardian for others as well, okay? So don't forget that, okay? And remember to call on your guardians to help you through the times that you are struggling here, Cancer, okay? Um, so yeah, let's have a look. Next card for Cancer, please. Okay, right. Cancer, next card for Cancer in relation to this reading. And so I think what is would be really good, because for some of you can't see, you could be on a bit of an upturn right now. Okay, so I want you to bear this reading in mind that on the times that you're on the downturn, this might be really good to come back and revisit, okay, to get you back on track, okay, to remember why it is you're doing it and for you to keep going, okay. And remember that you do have support on the other side. Okay, um, learning, yeah, see, some of you are learning, some of you are learning how to, um, how to grow something, right, this person is here in the fields with the wheat and learning about the wheat and, and, you know, doing all that jazz, okay, and I feel like whatever it is that you're, whatever journey you're embarking upon, it's a learning journey, Okay, so it might not even be specifically that you're studying something, but um, you will, whatever it is you're doing, doing, you'll be learning along the way here, Cancer, okay? Um, you know, I just love this here because this little kid is focusing on the um, ladybird on the wheat and um, seeing how is it that the ladybird uses the wheat? Does it eat it? What does it do with it? What's the purpose of the wheat for the ladybird? as opposed to the butterfly, as opposed to a caterpillar, as opposed to any other insect, you know, so um, this is, yeah, this is pretty interesting, also, wow, did you see that, that went, whew. Um, also, you know, looking at different things, trying different things out for yourself, and seeing what works, and just um, sort of mixing things up for yourself, okay, because what works for one person, and what works together, may not with the next thing, okay, or for the next person, uh, we have healing here, okay, so this could be something that you're doing um, to help with your own healing, 
um, very interesting because when I was reading through the card here, I really felt like there's this sense of this needing of healing, okay? And um, it could be that for some of you, there's a little bit of a denial of the healing that is needed. A little bit like, oh no, I don't want to deal with that. I'm going to go and do this thing to distract, excuse me, to distract myself or um, to divert from addressing what it is that is coming up for you okay so this is very important for you cancer because otherwise somewhere along the way it's going to pop up and hit you in the face okay so when things pop up for you make sure that you're actually working through them and releasing them as you go okay rather than avoiding them all right um we also have totality here and um I just wonder if for some of you, whatever it is you're doing, there's some sort of pettiness actually around you. It's kind of like, it's kind of like some people kind of pretend that they have you, um, but they actually don't. Or that they've kind of said, oh, don't worry, because at the end of this, I'll, I'll, take you in this direction and you'll be fine but it's actually not going to work for you and I feel like you need to just be a bit cautious actually it could also be that that has happened to you before and it's installed a bit of fear in you now and maybe that's something that needs healing okay um yeah so that's interesting Bit of a change in energy here but yeah this this totality is something to do with healing so whether you need to heal something that's happened in the past or it could even be something to do with healing in the sense that someone says i've got the answer for you and this is where you should go this direction but it's not the direction for you. They are actually doing that to whatever their agenda is. I, I'm not even going to get into that because I don't know. Um, but anyway, okay, next card. Yeah, see, it's cool because I know that once I've finished what I'm saying about whatever, the cards come out. Okay, so reliable. Reliable. Oh, yeah, yeah, cancer. What is reliable? What is reliable? It's the song in your heart. That's reliable. I feel like there's people that you can depend upon. There are people who will hold you and hold that space for you. And there are others who won't. And you know in your heart who those people are. Okay. The direction that you're going in, you know in your heart what that is. You don't need anyone to tell you. Sometimes we can get steered in the wrong direction because it sounds so good. And we really truly believe that everyone's got our best interests at heart and they don't. Um, and so sometimes that's that can be a little bit shocking and um, and that can be a little bit daunting when that does happen, you know. Um, so just be aware of that. You know, you don't have to dwell on it, but just be aware of it. Um, go with that gut instinct, okay. Go within. Really tap into this heart space here, okay, and, and and feel it out, okay, because that will always steer you in the right direction, okay. We also have the lover's card come up here. So if this is a relationship that we're talking about, tap into your heart space. This could be that you've had, you know, past relationships not work out. And, um, you know, people do the dirty on you, or, could be in anything though it could be friendships it could be business you know let's apply it let's be honest it can apply to anything um i'm getting something here about a separation yeah, 
I don't know why that's coming up. I'm not getting anything else about that. But there's this sort of separation and coming back together. So I'm not sure what that is about. But you'll know if that applies to you. Okay, so yeah. This could be also why it's a good idea. This could be what is actually daunting for you though. Okay, so yeah, make sure that you get your support system around you if that's the case, Cancer. Okay, so next card for Cancer, please. Okay, Cancer. What's the next card for Cancer? Here we go. Okay, so we've got two cards here. First card, this other one's upside down, so I'll turn that over. When it's time, triggers. Mm-hmm. <laughs> interesting this is this is important this is very important when i was talking before about the healing okay and um not paying attention to what it is that needs to be healed because when there's triggers that pop up here cancer um these are the things that need to be healed okay and it's very easy for us to kind of go oh god I just gotta feel better gotta feel better so I can go and do this thing or you know so that I can move on I just gotta we're not really truly addressing it okay so this is crucial for you um with this triggers coming up and we can have many triggers there's lots of things that can trigger us you know we can be triggered to feel happy yeah and that's okay we can be triggered to feel sad and that's okay too the thing is, we allow the triggers to keep us, the happy triggers to keep us in happiness. When the sad triggers come up, we try to get rid of them as quick as possible. But in actual fact, what we need to do is look at them and address them and heal them. We need to learn to let them go. Okay? Um, and do that totally, completely and utterly. Okay, and I just wonder, I'm just coming back to this totality card, I wonder if there's been some sort of pettiness that you haven't healed from. Okay, and yeah, it could be still popping up in your life and popping up in different ways and different forms with different people, but it's the same trigger over and over and over. So this could be something that needs to be addressed here. Okay, um... Tell me more about triggers for cancer, please. What is that? That's upside down. Keep us in suspense. Okay, exhaustion. Yeah. This could be something that <laughs> you feel the light cancer is though. I'm just laughing because I've done this myself. Um, you feel like, oh yeah, I'll... I'll deal with that and I'll put that in this place here. Or it could be that you're like, I'll put this here in this box and I'll come back and deal with it. And then something else triggers you and you're like, oh, I'll, I'll put this over here and I'll come back and deal with it because I've still got to come back and deal with this thing over here yet. I haven't done that. So I'll do this first and then I'll do this. And then it ends up being that you've got all these pieces in different places and it's like actually nothing's been dealt with. You know, and um, so yeah, so this could very well be something that you really need to look at right now. We also have the master coming up here. And I feel like by actually doing that, releasing those triggers, because they are exhausting and they do hold you down, okay, um, that you will then be able to break out into the master of who you truly are. Okay, and I feel like this is what this direction that you're going in and what spirit is waiting for you is, right? Oh, this is exciting. I'll read this at the end again because it's always good to reflect on it after these messages have come out. I'm excited for you because I love when the MasterCard comes up because, and I'm sure this has come up for you before. I'm not sure. I'm not entirely sure. But... It probably has. But anyway, let's not go there. Okay, moving on. Progress. <laughs> Progress. Okay, so let me just soak this up a little bit. <laughs> um, I, I do 
kind of like even though talking about this exhaustion here and this um these triggers and stuff that's not to say that there hasn't been stuff that you have been working on okay there is stuff that you've been working on and there is progress that has been made so i do want to acknowledge that cancer okay um and these could just be the remnants of this stuff okay that maybe it's been the case that you're like, oh, that was nothing compared to what this went, you know, this big thing that happened. This is just a smidgen of that. Um, so, you know, I don't need to worry about that. But these could be the things that keep triggering you, okay? Um, and you might not even be aware of where they've come from because maybe you have done so much work that you actually um, don't wouldn't even guess that that would be there, okay? Um, so, yeah. Tell me more about progress, the cancer, please. The miser. Oh, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Keeping things to yourself. Not allowing other people to see. Building these walls up around you, okay? Um, it's like you... The thing is, this master, it's like trying to protect this master within because you have been burned before, right? And so you don't want people to see that I've got these jewels inside. I've got this freaking master inside of me. I'm not showing you that. No siree. Because last time I did, look what happened, you know, and, um, but the thing is that w when you embrace the energy of the true master within you, no one's going to be able to take it from you. No one. Because it's, it's that your authentic self is the truth of who you really are. Okay, so, um, I, I. I feel like the vulnerability is because of the unhealed triggers that um, that make you feel like you need to protect yourself. Okay. Trust. Trust. Trust that when you leap, you will fly. Don't be jumping off no buildings or anything, though. You will be able to fly, okay? And, you know, with this, this is the thing, and this kind of shows how far you have come. This card here, you're not going to need anyone to grab your hands. You're going to be able to do it, you know? There are people who are going to hold your feet. There are people who may want to hold your hand, and that's okay. But trust that you're going to select the right people along that journey. Okay, um, and with the progress here, you will fly because look, you've got the wings there. They're just almost attached, almost attached. There's just a little bit more to go here. Okay, man, this is so cool. Okay, next card for cancer, please. Oh, there it is. Seek seclusion. And we've also got hidden blessings. I only wanted one card. And I was just going to take one of them. But this other one, I feel like they need to come together. Seek seclusion. Oh, okay. So by... Um, There's something big, man, something big. The seek seclusion here, I feel like is about this self-discovery of you really going within. Um, and this could be through this healing that the you, there will be hidden blessings. I do feel like these cards, are, it, it, uh, the message is pretty much through you know one message through the two cards that's what i'm trying to say here um because it's sort of like this here it's like for so long cancer you've been sort of sleeping right you've been sleeping here and um it's kind of like you need to find yourself and so I'm, I'm kind of seeing like there's another part of you that you need to go and retrieve, if you like, for some reason. Um, yeah, and I feel like 
the seclusion is going within going in within to retrieve and seek out the master that lies within okay and that is going to lead to these infinite blessings here tell me more about these two cards here for cancer please aloneness look at this look at this aloneness right so funny because I was questioning the seek seclusion, but no, this is correct. This is this is this um, it, um again this guiding force within you that needs to come out. It's still tucked away inside. It's tucked away inside out of safety. Um, it's there was a point in your life where you tucked it away because it was safer to do so because you didn't want to be seen or you didn't want to be found. Um, and or when you put yourself out there, maybe there was something that caused you to retreat. And um, yeah, I actually feel like this aloneness is you allowing your light to shine. Okay, that it's okay to walk the journey alone. Mm. Interesting. The full new beginnings. The see, this is this journey alone again, right? You have faith. Have faith. And I'm not talking, you know, look. This this could be whatever you're embarking upon, that you have this master within you, that you can do this, you know, like you have the, everything you need is within. You know, it's, I just can't even sort of, I'm trying to find the right words here, but they're just not coming because I feel like it's this matter of this having this trust within yourself um, and having the faith that you can do it, that you have the ability to do it, you you have the means, you have the knowledge, you have the everything to do it, you know, there's nothing more that you need, and you feel like you still need this and you still need that, but actually you have everything there, um, it's just believing that you do, and, and knowing that, and really walking in the faith of that, walking in the faith of yourself, Walking along the path, knowing that your your internal light will guide the way, right? This is why your ship is all blinged out with lights here. <laughs> this is no accident here, Cancer. No accident. <laughs> okay, so yeah. Anyway, Cancer, let's re-address this card. Your postcard from Spirit. Dearest you, you are taking yourself and your problems too seriously. Maybe fear of the future is weighing on you. We would like you to take a little break from all that and start having fun, in capital letters with an exclamation mark afterwards. When you stop fixating on what has been making you heavy hearted, we get a chance to move some magic in your direction. We just need you to let go a little. Spirit needs some room and gets very inspired by your laughter when you have fun. When was the last time you got really loose, silly and goofy? Maybe you need to go dancing or watch some very funny comedy to make you laugh or call the one friend you know will remind you how ridiculous and delightfully giddy you can be. You will return refreshed and renewed and ready to once again see the world as less daunting and you will be ready to receive in perfect timing the bounty that spirit has for you. Don't you just love how much we care about you? <laughs> oh, I love it, Cancer. Okay, I will leave that with you. Take care of your beautiful selves. See you. Bye-bye.